Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. Today we're doing reading for a set of Scorpio, and keep in mind that this does not resonate for every Scorpio. If you'd like a personal reading, it's going to be the first link in the description down below. I'll repeat that, first link in the description down below for a personal reading. You can also find much other things there in the description. You can find my Etsy shop, which has my tarot and my oracle cards on there. A bunch of things down in my Etsy shop in the description down below. Um, go check that out. You can also find my shirt store, my website, different social media platforms I'm on, as well as Patreon. All that's in the description down below. If you'd like donate to the channel, feel free to do so. I do appreciate donations here. So, Scorpio, before we get into reading, let's say some prayers. First, we have number 14 with the goddess Kali, number 20 with the goddess Kuan Yin. And as usual, we're starting with Kali first. It says, Out of the fire of divine wrath, your gentle form emerges. Calming the raging waves of emotion and disturbed fluctuations of mind. In settling myself beneath your fiercely compassionate and tender gaze, I find steadiness, kindness, and peace. It's an eternal moment with you. I'm no longer afraid. Kali, my heart softens as I take delight in realization of your generosity and sweetness. With humble mind and willing heart, I bow before you, ready to receive with gratitude, love and wonder at your divine beauty and kindness. You are the unscripted creativity of the gentle yet unyielding workings for the greatest good of all. All right, then we have number 20. Beloved Kuan Yin, help me realize the connection to myself and to life that I need to be able to live my highest vibrational life where I am well, replenished, joyful, and connected to the endless flow of divine energy and life force in our universe. Please bring me clear guidance about how to best cultivate Chi now, how to be open to receive the nectar of the lotus, the life force, and the love of divine mother for my highest good, so be it. Alright, so Scorpio, now that we said some prayers here, let us see what spirit has in store for yourself, what is the message is here, and what is coming towards you. Okay, so what's up for the sign of Scorpio? Six of Wands wanting to come out, so that's success and victory, but it did not come out for <coughs> Alrighty. We have a star as your first card. Alright, so star, star is like a positive card here. Now, a star can be Aquarius, but we also do have other signs here on the star, and within the stars here we have Venus, Jupiter, Saturn, Mercury, Mars, and Sun and the Moon. That's basically everything there except for Pisces. We have the Tower. We have the Ten of Wands. We have the Queen of Pentacles, which can be that of Earth. We have the Four of Wands, Ace of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Cups, Queen of Wands, which is that of Fire. So we have Fire, Earth. Primarily here, especially with Aquarius as well. Um, it feels like burdens, right? Burdens being cast away, burdens being removed. Ten of Wands with the Tower, Eight of Cups tells me that you're walking away from something here, but there's something that you're moving towards here with the move. There's like so, there's like something that you've asked for here, Scorpio, but I feel like it's being presented to you. All right, Ace of Pentacles, Star. Something that you've been wishing for. Queen of Pentacles can even be that of money. Four of Wands can be that of a home. Alright. I feel like there's going to be some major blockages removed and major changes happening, and then there's like a, 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 a dream coming true. Opportunities. So let's see.
He has a fool. We have the Knight of Cups. We have the Hangman. We have the Five of Wands. We have the Ace of Wands. We have the Seven of Pentacles. We have the Princess of Cups. And then we have the Six of Swords. It feels like you're moving here in a new direction. I feel like you could actually be moving just in general. I feel like that's maybe the, that's maybe like <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> I think that's the opportunity here being presented to you. Like, I see a lot of opportunities, but maybe you've been asking for that, and I do see a move here in the home. I see investment paying off seven defense goals. Now, with another thing I want to point out here with the hangman, we have, like, the arc of life right here on this foot. I don't know if you're going to be able to see that with my camera, but it's right there. So it's kind of like Egypt, right? I feel like you're getting downwards. I feel like psychic downwards here. Knowledge. It's like spiritual knowledge here. I feel like it's a big theme for you. We have the Six of Pentacles. We have the High Priestess. Campbell there. Yeah, there is something here with Egypt. We have the Eight of Wands. We have the Three of Cups. We have the sun. Once again, we have every zodiac sign here. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it. You can see symbols there. We have the four of pentacles. We have the princess of swords. And the five of pentacles. Alright, so another thing I want to point out with your Scorpio is, with this book here, we do see like the more planet symbols here, of like the same as we've seen earlier. So we had, we have Jupiter, Saturn, Mars, Moon, Venus, Mercury, the Sun. By the book. Let's see. Either way. I feel like there's a union here. Like, I feel like you're quite psychic and spiritual here, but I feel like you're having unions here, like, with someone who's also quite spiritual and psychic. Alright, I feel like this is both in the physical world as well as the spiritual world as well. Alright, there's communication there. There's... I feel like you're receiving, Scorpio, I feel like you're receiving generosity from the universe here. Five of Pentacles. Now that's quite a curious. So what is that about? We have a Seven of Swords. Spirits is calling. Wasted effort. We have a Two of Swords. We have a Two of Cups. We have the Ace of Cups. We have the Empress, which is ruled by Venus. 
Venus is like the planet of love, material possessions, things like that. We have the Queen of Cups, which is that of water. We have Judgment. Two of Wands. So I, I feel like there may have been something... Could even been someone in the past that was like wasted effort to you that maybe you're not speaking to. Five of Pentacles, Seven of Swords. Um, but look at this. Look what the spirit world is presenting you. I feel like new opportunities. Alex, also feel like a home. But there's also like someone here that you're coming together with, and I feel like it's someone newer being brought to you, and someone who's quite loving here. The Empress, Queen of Cups. Right? It's up to you what you do with them. But it is someone coming towards you. <laughs> so let's get some around some charms yourself. So we have that of Pisces. It's going to be a Pisces, someone with Pisces placements, someone with a chart. We have Bastet. And this moon wheel, which you connected to, it's connecting with the moon, the stars, the night, the beetle. We have Hathor, which is actually an Egyptian priestess. We have the Chinese zodiac sign of the monkey. Sun got wrong. We did have the sun coming out. We have Anubis. All right, so we have a birth and new beginnings. There's justice here, which we do. I, I do feel like that. Like there is justice on your side, and there's a journey here. All right, and I do. I feel like there's a physical journey. So that's all I have for you. Like I said, first link in the description down below. For personal reading. Also go to my Etsy shop. If you want to go buy something, really appreciate that. If you want to see more content, don't forget to like subscribe. I guess.